to channel 15 FT News Station. We will be watching a live recording of all the latest happenings of the land of fairy tales. Find out what happens to Sleeping Beauty when she wakes up from her century slumber and get the three piggies secret sauce recipes from Mrs. Gore and Mrs. May's cooking show. Don't miss an exclusive interview with the notorious interview with B.B. Wolf. After serving jail time for huffing and puffing and blowing down two piggy homes, he is arrested again, this time in Granny Hood's nightgown. Find out whose team will be heading to the Royal Olympics this year with her syn synchronized swim team. Get the breaking news about the Beanstalk protest that just broke out this morning. We, we will be airing live, so please turn off all your doodad devices and take all the magical photos your heart desires and enjoy.
Wenzel and Pete. Tonight on our cooking show, the three pigs are going to reveal the secret ingredient to their special sauce. We are here with the famous three talking piggies of the recent narrow escape from the big bad wolf. It seems his experience is over there. Wait a bit about gold. Crispy bacon. Can you tell us about the special sauce we've recently prepared? Yes, mate. As you know, me and my brother had to create a mighty big fat to prevent the big bad wolf from coming down on our children. That's when we discovered that if you cook the spaghetti sauce so slowly for many days, it tastes much better. Carly McBiscuit, tell us what you added to this special sauce. That's right. They're hard to buy. We have a limited supplies of sticks that we keep piled high at our factory. Now, Big's coming up. I understand that you are the brain behind this business and that you are in charge of marketing <coughs> and selling. Yes, I am. I mean, yes, I am. In fact, we can hardly keep them in stock. We only have a limited supply. Check out our new jingle. Give some, some sauce, sauce to your, your boss. With some sticks in the mix, special sauce, so delish. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast with an important severe weather watch. We now turn to our weatherman, Puppy P. Walsh, to get the latest on the condition. We bring you this important weather update. According to all the fourth thing wind system, howling winds have blown into the area. Several trees have uprooted and enchanted forest. This sounds serious, Huffy. It is, Rapunzel. We're urging everyone to seek shelter immediately. The puppy black clouds forecasted oil have turned into a full-scale knockdown windstorm. <laughs> Thanks for that important breaking news. And now back to our cooking segment. <coughs> I'm sorry, but we won't be able to finish our cooking segment. The three pigs had to rush back to the sauce factory. They had to save their special sticks of life from blowing away. But they did leave some sauce for us to sample. Yum! I thought it was that's a show for today. For more recipe ideas, go to www.gourmet.com. Join us next time for making the perfect boy for the chef papa. Back to you, Pete and Rapunzel. Thanks for that tasty tidbit, Goran May. And now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> if your shoes are becoming to you, you should be coming to Cindy Soap. Can't find the right color? Can't find a shoe that is comfy? Well, we can choose all shapes and sizes. We have workout stickers.
the unexpected <coughs> happens, be insured. Call us at 1-800-BE-COVERED for a free quote at Holger Family Insurance. Holger Family Insurance! <laughs> <laughs> Kittens, and, and pudgy babies, and, and, 
Well, thanks for sharing your side of the story, BB Wolf. Back to you, BB Wolf is also consulting his lawyers, Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum, about the unprovoked attack by Mr. Hood. He is also suing from his brain that paw after escape, escaping Mr. Hood's large act. Thanks, Prince Alarming, and now on to sports. Hello, folks. I'm Yuba, and this is Lane with Sports. Today, it looks as if another historic moment is being made by one of our very own citizens. We're here with the captain of the synchronized swim team, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, please tell us your exciting news. Well, I just got the word that my little guppy synchronized swim team will be heading to the Royal Olympics. Year. Okay. Congratulations! Everyone knows how hard you worked out the loss of your singing career. Yes, but I think I found my new career. Those guppies are so wonderful to school. <coughs> Maybe later you can show us some moves. Thanks for stopping by. In other sports news, the dance marathon involving the 12 princesses continues in the night. This is their fourth night, and although slippers have been wearing out, not one princess has given up yet. And now for our second guest, we have a spinner <coughs> formerly known as Rumpelstiltskin. Join us via satellite. Well, already has been competing in a world-class gold spinning contest. Are you there, spinner? Yes, I am here, Louise. Well, so far, I've heard that you're in first place in the Mount Australia has been spinning gold. You got it, folks. The game down here. Has anyone figured out your true identity? Actually, everyone down here is so busy spinning gold that they don't really care what my, my name is. It's very refreshing to come down here and do something I love. Well, we wish you the best of luck. That's it for sports. Back to you, Pete and Pop Rapunzel. Thanks, Yubi and Wayne. That concludes our evening segment of the Fairy Tale News. Week. Tune in tomorrow to find out about, about the new daycare center being opened by Rumpel Stiltskin. We now turn. Uh, also, watch a touching interview with Wicked Witch of the Northeast after all, uh, on how she is coping with the loss of her only pair of magic garnet slippers. In our next cooking segment with Gore and May, we'll show you how to teach a, a, to prepare a perfect bowl of porridge with just Papa Bear. And don't miss our Master Gardener Jack Toss on how to de uh, plant a dazzling perennial garden. And also, don't miss Land's Most Burly Suspect, Goldilocks. Good night and, and happily, happily ever, ever after. after. Well, you guys are probably wondering what happened to the beanstalk. Well, unfortunately it was chopped down. But we at least we have a disco, which is where I'm heading right now. <laughs> Money and they love you like it's all out. Yeah, dancing around.